<gasps> Do you like that? Mama gave Gavin a new toy and he is loving it, aren't you? <laughs> Look, and he's pushing those teeny tiny feet up on the table. Look at those thunder thighs. <laughs> so cute. Smile, Mommy. Uh. <coughs> nibble, nibble. Nibble, nibble. <coughs> Nibble, nibble. Are you being so silly? What? Uh, nibble, nibble. Uh, nibble, nibble. What? Are you going to talk? Really? That sounds important. I never knew. You may get your new toy? Huh? You may get your new toy? Oh, he's talking. Where's the toy? Oh, here's the new toys. Here's the new toys. You want the one that, that, that vibrates? Look. Look, it vibrates right here. The only thing I've noticed with this uh, toy that vibrates is you have to have some power to... Uh, if you bend it one way, it doesn't vibrate at all. And if you bend it another way, then it vibrates. But you really, for a baby, you have to have some power. And you have to realize that it goes this way to vibrate. So, I'm sure when he gets older, he'll be better at it. But for right now, I've been sticking it in his mouth and, and pushing it down to make it vibrate for him. So, he doesn't seem to mind. Do you like this one better? Do you like that one better? Okay. Are you hungry? Do you want lunch? Huh? Um, well, okay. Uh, and what is Mr. Uh, Guido doing? Guido is taking a nap. Has no idea we're even in the room. Were you talking to the pug? They were eating lunch. Eating lunch. And watching Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I got smart today and didn't put a shirt back on him once I changed his diaper. So now we won't get dirty clothes. No, no dirty clothes. And the pug just had his pumpkin. Uh, Tammy's trying to wrap gifts. And there's a cat peeking at me. Right around, the the gap. right around the corner. Yeah. yeah. He needs to get out of here. Yeah. You see the water bottles in here. It didn't do any good. No. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. And I just want to tell you, Thanksgiving is Thursday. And I wondered if anyone else was going through this like me. I wake up and I look at my email and I have... Um, American Eagle, Pampers, Overstock, Apple, Kohl's, Gordman's, New York and Company, Bath and Body, uh, Target, Michaels. I mean, it is crazy uh, the emails that uh, I'm getting because they want you to come in on Black Friday. And actually, it's not even just Friday anymore. Now it's starting on Thursday at like 8 o'clock, a lot of stores, you know, they're giving their uh, employees time off um, until 8 o'clock at night on Thursday to spend time with their families. And then they want you to come in 
um, at eight o'clock at night and uh, shop to you drop all night long or stand in line. And um, I'm not into that whole scene. Normally we decorate the day after Thanksgiving, but since we're already decorated, um, I told Kevin, I said, you know, we still don't want to get out on Friday because I appreciate people who do it. I think it's crazy. Um, but since we still don't want to get out on, uh, Friday, I told Kevin, I said, let's cook. Let's, uh, make the Chex Mix or bourbon balls or peanut butter roll. Uh, he loves peanut butter fudge. That's probably what we'll be making, honestly, because he loves, he and Ashley love peanut butter fudge. Um, but let's just stay home and cook all day and have fun, and, um, I can film. That'll be fun. Um, and, uh, he can use his, his, uh, mixer some more. I'm sure he'll be using it. I know he'll be using it for Thanksgiving, but he can use that some more. And, um, you know, uh, just, uh, have fun at home because I can't imagine standing in line, um, there was a couple weeks back, well, it's been probably a month ago, there was something on TV about the uh, people at the University of Kentucky. They were, and of course, you know, we're here in Kentucky, we're right in the heart of this, but they were, uh, they had tents. It was called Tent City, and they showed this Tent City on the news, and these people had spent the night in their tents in order to get good tickets, like... I don't know how many days they stayed there, but um, even if it was overnight, um, it was would not be worth it to us. And so we were talking and trying to, um, we had a whole conversation about would was there anything that we would stand in line for that, uh, like, is there a celebrity we would stand in line to see? Uh, you know, that was for a basketball game. <laughs> There's no way I'm spending the night in a tent for a basketball game. Um, but there's no celebrity that I, I can't imagine standing in line for any kind of tickets like that. Um, I don't think the three of us came up with anybody that we would stand in line to see. Um, we're just, it's just not that important to us. So, um, anyway, I just, all these emails, they're driving me crazy. Um, wanting you to come in on Black Friday and letting you know the deals. That's great. That's great that they have these deals, but I'm, you know, they're sending them to the wrong person because I'm not going to be one of them. You can see the pug up there on a, the pillow. That's what he does in the morning. He gets up, he goes outside, he eats his breakfast, and then he stays up there on the, the pillow. And he follows me around from room to room. If I'm not, if I leave the room for a few minutes, he's fine. But if I'm gone more than like 10 minutes, he'll get down and start looking for me. So anyway, just wanted to tell you, I'm getting all these emails and uh, deleting them immediately. Wondered if you all were experiencing the same thing because it's really annoying, honestly. And uh, Victoria's Secret, oh my gosh, I had to delete them. Um, now, I still get the stuff in the mail because I want to get my free panty um, and my $10 uh, off a bra coupon. But I had to delete them from email because they'll send you stuff every day, if not multiple times a day. It's ridiculous. So, anyway, I will check back in later. Ashley has gone to school to take an exam. And, of course, Kevin is at work, and he is off the rest of the week, so that'll be really, really nice. Um, and I don't have Gavin today, but I might be watching him for a few hours. We will see. I was just trying to sit here and think if there's, uh, try to think if there's anybody that I've ever stood in line uh, to meet. And uh, the only people that I can think of um, standing in line for were Bob and Sherry, and they are radio personalities. Um, and I listen to them every day. I listen to the podcast. I don't like listening to the radio because you get a lot of music that you may or may not like. I don't like the music, um, and you get a lot of commercials. So I go to their website. It's um, www.bobandsheri.com. Anyway, a little commercial for Bob and Cherry. Um, 
But they have a radio show, so I go to their website and I listen to the podcast every day. So they came to Lexington back in 2006. Uh, they were at Joseph Beth and Kevin, me and Kevin and Ashley stood in line and it was probably, it was a couple of hours we stood in line to meet them and it was really cool and I have a picture which I will insert here. And uh, I'm standing in the back. I was larger then, so um, uh, you get to see the uh, bigger me. But um, anyway, it was really cool getting to meet them. Um, if you've not listened to them, you should try uh, them. She, she is just um, so, so quick-witted. Um, intelligent. Um, she said when she, growing up, her family used to call her dictionary lips. I mean, she's just really, really quick. And Bob is, uh, he, he has a great personality. He's fun to listen to. Um, he's traveled to places that I've never been, Maine and, um, all of the, uh, northeastern, uh, states that I've never been to, but would love to travel to one of these days. Um, and he likes lighthouses and he likes lobster. And so anyway, they're just very, very fun to listen to. And they take, they talk about current events and they take calls from listeners and it's always just a wonderful, wonderful show. Um, so anyway, uh, oh, and Sherry has written two books. She's written one called, Hello, My Name is Mommy. And the other one is called Be Happy or I'll Scream. And that's why we were standing in line uh, to get her to sign our book. Um, and Bob was there with her. So um, anyway, she's written two books. They're funny. They're about her life. I could sit and listen to her life all day long. I love hearing uh, stories from both of them. Um, so um, anyway, those are the only people I can think of standing in line for. So... Definitely not overnight, though. I wouldn't stay overnight for anybody. We bought this Fisher Price. It's called a My Little Snugga Bear Space Saver High Chair. And it is a high chair that goes into a regular chair. And the um, pattern is worth it. Yeah, that's what the it's supposed to look like. They had a bee, this is a bee, and then they had one that was an owl. But the owl, as much as I love owls, they put, um, that is pink. And so that one was for girls, and we think this one's the boy version. Um, but this was $50 at Walmart. And the reason we bought it is because, Gavin, uh, you well, you saw the video. If you've been watching my vlogs, I had to put him in his... A chair in the floor because I'm afraid to have him, you know, he's starting to move around and scoot and I, I can't, it's just not safe to have him on the table in that chair. So, um, we bought this Thanksgiving is Thursday, today's Tuesday, and uh, he needs to have a, um, a chair that he can sit in uh, so that he can eat his cereal while we eat. So hopefully this will work. It, Kevin and I looked, uh, we looked at high chairs um, because we were, in our minds, you know, we were thinking high chair, we need to get that. But this one, I'll show you. You look at the back of the box. It says uh, it grows with baby, converts from reclining seat for newborns to upright seat for infants to booster seat for toddlers. So, it's adjustable, three height adjustments, three recline positions, and the tray stays level. Easy to clean, tray is dishwasher safe, removable seat pad is spill resistant, and machine washable. That's nice. Um, straps easily and securely to most kitchen or dining chairs. So, we're going to see. What did you straps in it for a jet plane. What did you just do to it? I just popped this on. Oh, okay. So it's, that just pops it's, on? It's got a little thing back here, and you literally... Um, just pop it on. That's okay. I just missed you putting that together. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. It just pops on. And okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to mess anything up. And I'm just pulling the straps through. 
This is without reading directions, so I'm just going by how I think it goes. And that's not like you. This is the second thing you haven't read the directions on lately. I feel pressured to put it together. <laughs> spill and stain resistant. Yeah, it's supposed to, um, uh, if you get a spill in there, it's supposed to ball, to ball up and just run right off. That is cute. I like that. Oh, and it's padded. That's nice. Nice and padded. But we're wondering, we have cushions on these chairs. We're wondering if it works on a cushion or if we're going to have to remove the cushion. We don't know yet. But we're whatever chair we put it on uh, in, it's going to stay in. Uh, and we will just uh, take, uh, take this chair in the dining room on Thanksgiving. I do not want to strap this to one of my uh, chairs. They were expensive, and um, I don't want them to get scratched in any way. Um, and honestly, if he's eating anyway and has sticky fingers or whatever, it'll probably be better for him to be in an older chair. Wow, that's got lots of straps on. I'm assuming this goes like... A kid that I babysit has this, and you take it, you put it through, yeah. you put it on this side, so there, there's no squirming out of the seat. It does not happen. It's like a car seat. Yeah. Well, I'll just have you put him in there since you know how to do it. Dag on. Wow. That's like a jet plane. Well, it said for newborn, so you wouldn't want a newborn well, baby. And it also... Well, he's squirming. He it is. also adjusts. You pull this up, right, and it'll lean back, mm -hmm. or you can have it upright for an older. I kid. think, yeah, that's how she had hers because I think, she fed it. Yeah, but him, that's... he'll lean back a little bit. That's really nice. And then here are the straps for um, the chair. This is for the back of the chair. This is underneath the chair. So. Um, give me a second to get it set up and then we'll try it out in this chair. Alright, I'm going to adjust this around the seat. I think it'll work in this cushion actually. Um, it sits back up forward. It's in the front of the seat's right here. So, right. so I don't think it'll be bad once I tighten it up. I wonder if I should see the bottom of the first pop. Yeah. So you do it under, you just strap it under the bottom? Yeah, and, this one, you just adjust it tighter than what you would think. And really pull it down. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Yeah, I have to go a little tighter. <laughs> we have saw me. What are you doing, Pug? We um, pushed down the seat, actually. I didn't doing? want to do that for the last. Push down the seat. He wants to get it as tight as he can. Yeah. He's not going anywhere in that. Oh, that's nice. You want to put Guido in it? Yeah. And then if you do, you can still reach back here and, and lean it back. If you really want to lay it back like that, I mean, that's, that is a lot. They're really far back. But a little bit, I wouldn't want to have him straight up and down either because he's really not a right. keep your head up in there yet. So maybe just like one notch back. Don't put the cat in there. I don't want the cat phone getting there. <laughs> Bad thing is you can't push the chair back up. That's okay. Are you going to put the tray on it? Yeah. I thought you were just going to... Put it in the corner room. No, how do you do it? Just... Okay, so just like a regular high chair. It just snaps on. Well, that's nice. I like that. Well, that's cool. Oh, just, oh, just slide, slide it. Back. You can slide it back and forth. Yeah. Well, that's that's cool. nice. So, for Gavin, he's kind of chubby, so we'll probably slide it all the way out. <laughs> so, on Thanksgiving, we'll see how it works. Yeah, that'll be that'll be nice. And instead of having a big high chair we have to keep put up and something like that, we can pop this out and still have a chair. Yeah. So. I'll take you outside and show you uh, the snow. Apparently, we have some snow coming down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I put my coat on, so I'll walk out here. Yeah. Hopefully you can see that. 
that is Kevin's car covered and Ashley's little car. My car. You can see it there in the light. And it's already on the, the tree. It's coming down pretty good though. I'm upside down, but I just wanted to show you my Cheshire Cat pajama pants because I think they're so cute. I just got out of the shower, and I'm going to get me a snack because it's 9 o'clock. And look what I'm going to get. Yep. The Pepperidge Farm Baked Naturals. I'm going to eat some of these. And Kevin and I are going to watch some TV and relax before all the cooking tomorrow. So I have... Hope you have a good Tuesday night. Hope you had a good Tuesday night. It's over.